Dave, <coughs> I suppose we should start off with this week training. Did you get the reaction that you were looking for after last week's result? Um, you always get a reaction um, when you've lost the game. Now, whether that's through disappointment, anger, optimism for players that have maybe not been in the squad. Um, it, what's important to do is not uh, let things sort of fester, move on quickly. Um, work on stuff that we needed to work on. Um, I, I think some of the stuff, the disappointment stuff for us from Saturday was that we'd given the players all the information. We'd gone through what, how potentially we thought the game would, would, would pan out and what we were going to come up against. That didn't change, but we didn't do enough to, to sort of counteract it. We didn't sort of, we almost, the players almost expected that that wasn't going to be the case or not to the degree we'd spoken about. Um, and the game, again, some games you're going to have to sort of grind out and get a result against certain teams. And that was a, like I say, that was the that was a game Saturday. It was a grind out game. If you look at the, the game in terms of quality, there wasn't a, there wasn't a great deal. I think they've had eight attempts on goal and three on target and scored three goals. We had eight attempts on goal or nine attempts on goal four on target, scored no goals. Um, but if you look at it in, um, uh, or if you analyse it, of the of the attempts we had, how many were really good attempts, how many real good chances did we have? We had, again, one or two. Um, but we needed to do more. Um, and like I said, the, the players have been players have been brilliant. Um, but they let, them, let everyone down on, on Saturday, but most importantly, let themselves down and let each other down. Um, and listen, that's acceptable if it happens once, twice in a season. Um, if if it becomes a, a current thing and think or a, a frequent thing, things need to need to change. Um, so listen, they've worked hard this week. We've done some, like I say, some really good sessions in terms of um, back to basic stuff a little bit and dealing with what you have to deal with. Um, and it's been, like I say, really, really positive. I'm looking forward to um, hopefully showing that in, in, in the in the game on the game tomorrow. Um, from a from a player's perspective, what you want to do, yes, you want to move on, but you probably only really move on when the next game comes around. The next game comes around tomorrow. So, fingers crossed, we go and perform. FA Trophy weekend is something you look forward to, with, especially with your recent success in the trophy. It, of course it is. Um, I think what it what, what it is um, at the start, probably based on priorities and, and things like that, is, is the competition that everybody's involved in. The seriousness within it becomes further down the line. So again, even going back to um, going back to file and when, when we won it the first few rounds, and we and we played teams that were sort of step six and step seven. We made changes. We then went to. Um, Went to Ramsbottom and and drew five five in the most horrific conditions. And there was replays at the time. Had a replay and won won the replay. But then again, yet further down, we played Barnet in the quarter final. Um, went to penalties. All of a sudden, then we then played Stockport in the semi final. When you get to that that, that point, you, you know, I'm thinking, well, quarter final wise, you, you're two games away from from playing at Wembley. So then it does become more serious in terms of um, where your thoughts are because. It's the one competition that gives the best opportunity for clubs at this level and below to play in a, a showcase Wembley final. Um, so to do that, like I say, huge, uh, really, really positive memories. Um, again, we were, I suppose, spoiled in the fact we went went to Wembley twice in a uh, twice in a week. Um, what I said previously, and that it's not a place to lose. Absolutely not a place to lose because there's nothing worse. But it's a great place to, to win, um, so to experience that um, is always going to, like I say, live fond in the memory. You've spoke about recently about Cuddy's FA Trophy weekend, you are going to make a few changes, is that still being the case throughout this week when you've looked at the training and the lads? Yeah, absolutely, that was always the, the, the plan. Um, it, we, listen, the, the plan was never to make wholesale changes, but the plan was to make, make some changes. Um, I think it becomes easier to make changes after um, after sort of Losing a game, yes, we want to get momentum back and we want to get back on that, uh, back on the horse and get back to, to, to winning games if you like. But um, what it brings is 
a, a probably a um, an enhanced opportunity for the players to go in there and the ones that um, maybe haven't had the, the the chances that they've been um, sort of striving for and, and wanting to go. Yeah, I'm ready to play and didn't play that well at all. Didn't play very well last Saturday. The next game's Tuesday. I'm going to make sure I put the performance that says you have to play me on Tuesday, um, which again will make our job difficult to some degree, but really, really easy to a, a, in another aspect. So, like, hopefully, that's the case. Um, there are, like I say, there are people going out there, and we have that throughout the squad with with points to prove. Uh, I said that when with the players we, we we brought in, really, we were giving them a, I suppose, a platform to go in. Doubt the doubters, or, or put the doubters to, to rights, if you like, um, and that's, like I say, certainly the, the case with with some tomorrow. Um, I know they'll be looking forward to it, but we're going there to win. Uh, we're going there to, like I say, to progress. See where that takes us. Um, in a game that's important, in the fact that yes, we've seen Halifax in in, in the flesh to a certain degree. We've seen him in, in videos, but we get to see him sort of close up, um, and we obviously play them twice in the next. Three times in the next two weeks, um, similar scenario as what was what was last season. So although the the game uh, is our most important, because our next one in the grand scheme of things, the league games in in my eyes are, are, are more more important because there's three points up for grabs and we need to get ourselves moved up up that table. Um, we do we're doing everything we can to to go there tomorrow and win. You talk about changes. <coughs> you mentioned this morning that Luke Williams will return tomorrow. Yeah, Luke will start again. Providing touch will provide, and everything goes well between now and then. The plan um, with him, with the way the games have been, um, was always to be a little bit careful. And even if he had some involvement, the, the plan would have been to hopefully get him uh, minutes in, uh, minutes in the in, in the trophy game, and, and and that will be the case now. How that um, transpires and how much we get out of him is is. That's one. So I suppose it's open to to debate a little bit from from our perspective, any fame perspective. You you suppose you're ticking ticking little bits off. If we can get um, get him to half time, forty five minutes under this, but that would be a, like I say, would be a positive because that'll be a, a a big psychological marker for him to to him to get over. If we can then get him a little bit more out of him, then then brilliant. Um, but that would like I say, from my perspective, and I suppose it will, will be the first the first thing. Much better for him to, um, like I say, and even from all looking at logistics of the game. Worst case scenario, we if we, we we did put him on as a sub, and you make a change, and, and things didn't go right, and you have to make another change, you two subs down. <coughs> if he starts the game and things don't go um, to plan, then and we have to make a change, then we have to make a change. But I think we had a good chat with, and we'll have another good chat with with, with Luke today. This is a. a Almost a big, um, a, a big, a big marker for him in terms of in terms of this week. Um, has trained really, really well. It, it is about um, first and foremost in getting through the minutes, um, which psychologically will will give him an absolute massive, massive boost. So hopefully that's the the case. We all see the quality he has um, and what he could bring to our team and to our squad. We've just got to get him physically in a state that allows him to do that on a, a repetitive and a, and a consistent basis. And just finally, I know you your attention right now will probably be all on tomorrow, but how much this week with the quick turnaround for Tuesday's game, have you had to think about that Stockport game as well? You, 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 you're constantly sort of um, having to look where we're at, and it's not just over the next week, it's over the next sort of two weeks really, probably until we get um, after the second game, second league game against Halifax, second of January, from that point you have a a week between the between the next game, um, so you have to look at where where things are. You got to be again careful with what we're doing. We, we, like I said, we, we're very detailed in, in terms of the demands we have of the players in terms of load. We control that. That's something we control. Um, but you go into game situations that have lots and lots of variables, lots and lots of changeables, and um, and we've got to be in a, in, a, in a situation. The players need to be in a situation where. They know the roles. We'll again at times through the the next two weeks. We'll we'll tweak our system a little bit. We'll be adaptable. We'll be changeable. But hopefully we'll be a, a team that can, um, if it does need to make changes, can do that and can still go and get uh, positive results and, and put us in a, a good situation at the start of um, uh, the new year.
Dave, thanks very much. Thank you.